Ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor to present the 2012 Corporate Environmental Leadership Award to the CEO of Seventh Generation, Mr. John Rettelberg. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here tonight on such a wonderful occasion with so many distinguished members in the audience and honorees. It's my first trip back to LA since February when I came back to see my childhood idol of little guy, curmudgeonly, orange and furry, uh, otherwise known as the Lorax. And at that time, I had a chance to have a surprisingly personal uh, talk shop with the voice of the Lorax, with Danny DeVito. And he shared with me some very insightful ideas about our products, in particular, our toilet tissue. So, hey, you never know where the best ideas are coming from, but uh, if anyone has ideas about our products tonight, please write them down on a cocktail napkin and pass them up. We're open to great suggestions. Uh, I want to start uh, by thanking Matt Peterson. Uh, Matt, who so generously nominated Seventh Generation for this beautiful award. There is nothing, uh, nothing better than being honored by one of your own. Matt, who has so successfully led Global Green as an organization and who can truly appreciate what it takes to be a pioneer in the sustainability arena. It is, I believe, no small coincidence that, that both of our organizations have been around in the sustainability community for more than two decades, uh, long before the term sustainability was coined or bef before green was, was cool. Uh, the real honor, though, tonight, of course, goes to our founder, Seventh Generation's founder, Jeffrey Hollander. Yeah. It, it was Jeffrey who had the vision and, and, frankly, the guts to believe that business could be the most powerful instrument for meaningful change for our planet. That's the trail that Jeffrey blazed for me and for so many others to follow. And it's easy to see a brighter future standing on the shoulders of giants. Most awards usually celebrate something you've done in the past. For me, this award will propel us well into the future. For I believe we can't solve tomorrow's problems with yesterday's solutions. And in the spirit of standing on the shoulders of giants, I'd be remiss if I didn't pay tribute to a remarkable leader, inspiration, and mentor of mine, Ray Anderson. Ray taught me two, two great lessons. First, there's no time like the present to start on your journey. You don't have to wait for that, as Ray called it, that spear in the chest moment to realize it's never the wrong time to do the right thing. And second, he encouraged me to listen to that inner voice, to sum up the courage, the moral courage, uh, to act and to use my power of leadership. As a business leader, I have both the power and the responsibility to help solve the world's problems. At Seventh Generation, we believe that our products set a course for a more mindful way of doing business where companies act as partners with other stakeholders to create a bright future uh, for the whole planet. And we know that creating products that are non-toxic and safe for everyone in your home is no small task. Yet for us, nothing could be more important. Simply put, we believe we can't help people live a healthy life on a sick planet. Almost 25 years into this great adventure, we're still an independent, privately held company based in Vermont. We're growing rapidly thanks to so many great consumers, uh, and we remain a, a joyous, eclectic group of individuals who find joy in life and purpose in our work. So on behalf of Jeffrey Hollander and all of my colleagues at Seventh Generation back in Burlington, I thank you. We are honored and we are humbled by this award. We thank you for recognizing seventh generation and encouraging our journey to a better tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>